Hey everybody, welcome to One Flight Down Basement Beer Tastings. Today we're going to look at a couple of beers from Lake of Bays Brewing Company in Baysville, Ontario. So the other day I was down at my local liquor store and I came across some beers from a brewery called Lake of Bays. Uh, I've never heard of them before. Uh, they were featured at the recent uh, Flatlanders Beer Festival in, here in Winnipeg. And um, I think this was just some sort of leftover product from the festival that uh, the liquor marts are selling off. So I got two different beers from them. Uh, we're going to try them out. I really don't know much of anything about this brewery. I've never had any of their stuff before. Um, but we're going to start off with something kind of interesting. Actually, I didn't even realize <laughs> right away what it was. Uh, I thought I was just picking up a regular run-of-the-mill IPA. And then I looked closely and realized that it was a... 90 calorie IPA. It's called Low Tide. Um, yeah, so let's let's give this a try. Uh, just need to grab me some glassware. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever had a, a IPA this low in calories before. This could prove to be interesting. I mean, I'm getting a piney smell already. Just, just pouring this out. Uh, very light in color. A little bit of a head on there. Um, yeah, I'm just going to let this settle for a second. And read off the can, see what I can tell you. Uh, it's got uh, one, one gram of carbohydrates. Uh, ingredients are water, malted barley, wheat, hops, and yeast. Uh, the description on the can here says, Ease into relaxation with low tide. This light and hop forward IPA still delivers distinctive hop taste. The citrus aroma complements notes of strawberry and blueberry. Refreshing and drinkable, this flavorful beer is a sessionable alternative to stronger IPAs. Sit back, sit back unwind, and enjoy the calm. Uh, best served at 6 to 8 degrees uh celsius i don't have a device to measure the temperature on my beer but it just came out of the beer fridge i'm sure it'll be just fine uh zero ibus i don't think that's ever a number i've seen uh on an ipa um partially filtered the malts are two row pale and flaked wheat hops idaho seven uh dry hop belma and sabro yeah okay let's give this a try um yeah, no idea what to expect, but I mean, a strong pine smell right away. Uh, the description seemed to go more toward uh, the citrusy side of what you got on IPAs, but I definitely smelled a, a strong pine note when I was pouring the beer. Um, and yeah, it's still there, but a light citrusy note as well. Um, something else. I don't know. It's almost like a weird soapiness or something. I, I <laughs> um, like a cleaning agent kind of a smell. Not thrilled, not thrilled with what's on the nose, but uh, let's have a sip, see what's going on inside. And I gotta say too, uh, you know, a decent looking head on here. It's, uh, you know, for a for a light beer, you don't usually get something with this nice fluffy head like I have on here. It's kind of got that that uh, beer float kind of look to it. Uh, anyway, let's go in for a sip. Very, very light body. Um, not surprising since it's 90 calories. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, Definitely got the pine note and a bit of a, like almost like an orange flavor. I guess that's a lot of time the citrus note seems to be more grapefruit, but I'm getting more of an orange flavor on this. 
Um, it also said something on there about strawberry and blueberry notes. I get a little bit of strawberry. Blueberry, not, not so much, really. I mean, for a light beer, it's not bad. Um, if I were comparing this to other IPAs, it's really, really light-bodied. If I was comparing it to other light beers, uh, I don't know, I might go for it. If I was specifically looking to have a light beer... Uh, I mean, I could I could watch my calories a little, I guess. Uh, so this wouldn't be a bad uh, alternative in that way. Uh, but I certainly wouldn't have it like over um, like a regular, you know, full strength IPA. Um, what's the alcohol content? Two point five percent. So probably the also the lightest beer that I could still call a beer. Um, this is even lighter than a lot of Rattlers that I've had, which often come in around 3%. Um, but, you know, yeah, I mean, this is this is probably about the lightest uh, alcohol-wise beer I've had. Uh, and like I said, light-bodied, light flavor. Um, and I just poured some more in, and, and that's what happened. So I'm just going to let that settle a bit. <laughs> uh, let's check out the Lake, Lake of Bay's uh, website, see what uh, that tells us. All right, about us. Uh... That's a cute little brewery. That's really cool looking. Um, so what does it tell us here? Uh, our brewery and retail store is located just a stone's throw from the South Muskoka River in Baysville, Lake of Bays, Ontario. Um, we would kindly ask, however, that you not test this out by actually throwing rocks at us. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, so for 10 years, Lake of Bays Brewing has been a mainstay in the Ontario craft beer scene. So, okay, so they officially opened uh, in May 2010, uh, 2020. They marked their 10th anniversary. Um, and they, it says, this year we opened the Bracebridge Barrel House located in Bracebridge, Ontario. Let's uh, check out their lineup of beers. Um... Okay, so they have an Italian style Pilsner. I think that was one of the other ones I was looking at getting. Uh, Lagered Ale, Daydreamin' Tropical Fruit Pale Ale. That's the other one that I picked up for uh, this video. Uh, they've got a Wild Berry Citrus Sour, Cherry Lemon Lime Sour. Uh, they've got a Standout IPA that's 6.9% uh, alcohol. Near zero, so they've got a non-alcoholic beer at 0 0.5. Juicy IPA, Hazy Pale Ale. Yeah, they've got a really wide selection of stuff. But yeah, for this one, it's it's very, it's too light for, for my taste. And I'm not just saying that because of the, the calorie count kind of thing, but it's just very light bodied. Um, and I don't know, like I said earlier, I thought, oh, I might take it over a regular light beer, but... I don't know, like there's something a little off to me about getting like the, 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 the pine taste and everything. It's something this light. Like I, I don't know, it just makes me want a better IPA. Uh, so I don't, I, I don't know if this is necessarily something uh, I would have again. Uh, but I mean, if you like IPAs and really need to watch your cal calories, it might be worth trying for you. All right, so next up we are going uh, with the Tropical Fruit Ale. Uh, it's called Daydreamin'. Uh, let's give this one a shot. Well, the color is about as light as the last one. Get a touch darker, but not really. Um, Decent little head on there. Yeah, a uh, little more of a golden color, I guess, than the other one. The, the other one was, like, very, very pale. This, this is quite pale, too, though. Um, what can I tell you about this before we get in? Uh, 15 IBUs. Uh, the malts are pale malt, pilsen, flaked wheat, and the hops, uh, magnum hops. Daydreamin'. Excited to travel again? Us too. That's why we brewed Daydreamin'. The citrus-forward tropical pale ale will make you almost forget about the trips that could have been. This beer lends aromas of passion fruit and dragon fruit and flavors of fieldberry and honeysuckle with notes of uh, juicy fruit gum. 
Hmm. Nostalgia, anyone? Let Daydreamin' be your next adventure. 15 IBUs, uh, malt are pale malt, pilsen, flaked, malt, uh, flaked wheat, and uh, magnum hops. It's the one kind of hops. Uh, yeah, all right. 4.9% uh, alcohol. All right, so let's give this a try. That's pretty nice. Um, it's, uh, I think, a bit of maybe it's just because that last one was so light. Like the the fact this feels like a beer and the mouth feel and everything makes a big difference to me. Um, but I'm finding the uh, the tropical fruit flavors they're there, but they're they're a lot more subtle than I was expecting. Yeah, there's like a sweetness of something there. Uh, I don't know, it's pineapple or... Well, what did they say in the can? I think it was passion fruit, right? Passion fruit and dragon fruit. Yeah. I definitely get the um, juicy fruit gum uh, taste very subtly. Um, and that's not a bad thing. Uh, I know I recently did a video... Um, where I compared a beer to uh, Grape Hubba Bubba, and that was not a good thing. But Juicy Fruit, it's a little more of a subtle gum to begin with, um, and a little more inviting in a beer. Um, yeah, not as good as uh, a lot of other fruit-forward beers I've had, but it's it's not bad. I think, uh, you know, if, if, if you were someone who's not really into the, the really fruity beers, uh, you might not mind this one. Like, it's just very refreshing there's a mild sweetness to it um but it's yeah it's it's not like overpowering in, in that way at all <laughs> and now on this sip i'm getting way more of the juicy fruit than previously um so yeah maybe if you're not maybe you're not into fruits maybe don't go with this one at all um again it's it's not it's not bad uh i do like a fruity beer every once in a while. Um, I, I guess I was just expecting a little more of a bolder fruit taste off the front, although each subsequent sip is giving me a little more of that fruitiness than I was expecting, that, that, that I was previously expecting and wasn't getting. Yeah. Yeah, now all I taste is juicy fruit gum. Um... Yeah, uh, Daydreamin' Tropical Fruit Flavors, infused with tropical fruit flavors. Um, yeah, so that's, you know, it's not bad if you like uh, fruity beers, tropical flavored beers. I, it's, I'm not crazy about it. I guess neither of these beers I was super thrilled with. Um, I would definitely take this over the 90 calorie uh, IPA. Uh, and I wouldn't necessarily rule out anything else from Lake of Bays, but uh, yeah, my my introduction uh, <laughs> they they weren't the the most exciting beers to me, but you know maybe that uh, that Italian style pilsner was it? Yeah, maybe that would have been a, a better way to go. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm gonna finish this and enjoy it a little more than I did the previous one. Uh, we will be back with uh, more shows in the near future. So uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, we'll so see you all again real soon. Cheers. Again, I'm tired and I need to go home.